Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to um, model a river course quite easily that you can update. So I've got um, a Photoshop file that I've drawn, and this is just um, a basic bitmap, um, and I've saved that as a JPEG. So what I'm going to do, I'll open, I'll go back to my Macs, and I'm going to be drawing a plane. So we want lots of segments, so that looks about right. So then we put on a Displace modifier. And what we're going to do here is now select under Bitmap. We'll click None and we'll go to that JPEG that we drew before. And we'll just up the strength so we can actually see it. Yep. Alright, so now we'll just um, model the water. We'll have we'll just clone this. It's a dumb copy. We'll delete the displace modifier just so it's we've got the same size. And now we'll put that about here. And I'll just change the colour so it's not so confusing. Alright, so now we'll, the next thing to do is to go into our modify our materials. And we're going to start a new water um, a material cook that's going to be our water. So I'll go right up and um, just using the basic one that's there, we're going to use an ambient um, color that's going to be representative of water, so some maybe a murky gray or murky green. Yep. Okay. And then under, oh, let's just make it a little bluer. It's a bit sad, something like that. Okay. And we'll make our specular white. And we'll give it um, 90 specular level so it's quite shiny. And we'll, for the glossiness, we'll also make that quite high as well. So the opacity, we're reducing this to probably about 70 will do us. Um, now, the next thing to do is to... Um, put a noise bump on it. So we'll click our bump here and we'll go none and we'll select that noise bump. So when that renders you'll see that there's a bump on it. Um, and I'll just assign that to there. It's not finished but just so we can keep updating and seeing how it's progressing. And the next thing to do is to tick reflection and tick refraction. And so for refraction we'll put a 40. Okay, so if we render that, we'll see what that's looking like. That's looking okay. Um, we might even want to reduce that uh, noise. I mean, up the no up the noise size because it's a bit small. Play that too. Okay, cool. So as you can see, our terrain's looking a bit sad, a bit a bit uniform. So let's go back into our material palette, and I've got a gradient bit gradient map that I've already put on here and I'll put that to the terrain and we'll just see how that's looking. Um, yep, clearly we need a UVW map on that so we'll just click that and to activate this we'll just turn off real world map size and then um, because our orange line we can see isn't in the right direction we'll click X and then we'll click fit and this should be working fine and perfect. So. As you can see, that's about how we want it. A bit fake, but you know, it's representative. Um, and then the next thing to do is to um, actually put a noise modifier on the plane, which we will be animating in a moment. And we might just put that something low. We don't need this as a huge number. I mean, it's not going to be really splashing around water. So we'll just put that maybe one meter. And then for the Z, we'll put that one meter too. And so if we up and down that, we can see that we've got some water moving. Woohoo. Okay. So the way that this can be interesting is that we can go back into Photoshop and um, update our bitmap to see how that might be turning out. So maybe we want a stream coming off here. Okay, so 
file, we'll save that, and we'll see how that's, that hasn't updated, so maybe I just might have to do this manually, or just to see that it's working, I'll, I'll just save this. as Tezza. Okay. Oh. And we'll go back and we'll click that. And you can see that has updated. Alright. So if we want to animate this, we will be going back into our um, auto key. Oh sorry, our auto key down here. We'll click that. And the way this works is that these are frames and how we do it, we'll start at zero, so that's our zero. And then, actually, before we start, let's just add an omni light just to give it some interest, or maybe add some drama to the scene. And we'll make that a prime and give that something like a multiplier of 1.2. Okay, so we'll just see how that's rendering anyway. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, now, the way before we can um, we can animate it, we'll actually just um, start where we want. We'll, well, yeah, we'll just start there. All right. So now we'll select Auto Key, and we've got a red bar around the screen. So we'll go back into our noise, our plane, and our noise modifier. And we'll start and we'll drag that to the next, perhaps 10, the 10th frame, and we'll animate that. And we'll go to the 20th frame. This is going to be a short movie and it's a bit um, time consuming. So I'll just take it to the, this is the last frame, no more after that. Okay, and then we'll click our photo key. So we've got that to the 30th frame. So, the next thing to do is we need to go to our render setup because we're not going to be rendering an image, we're going to be rendering the frames that I've been setting down here. And so, um, under here we say a range instead of single, we click range and we go 0 to 30. So, that's our 30. And you have this warning sign that comes up because we actually have to assign it to a file before we can render it. So, we'll just go down and say save file and then we'll just click a place to save it so we'll call that river okay so now we'll, we can we'll, before we render it we'll just see how that's and you can see that that is our wiggly water now let's render that about mm, there okay and you'll see that this, this is what it does as it processes each frame you can probably fast forward 30 seconds while this does this <sighs> it's not going to be amazing an amazing movie but you know it could be Okay, so let's just find that file. And there it is on my desktop. We'll press play and wait for this amazing movie. And there we go. It's a quick intro to um, animation and water and rivers. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. And I'll just show you before we go the last one I did, which looked better. So, you know, you want to see this one. So a bit more dramatic, isn't it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.